so this is a pretty nasty situation. Um, I've run into this before. There may be other options out there. This is what I've usually done. Um, I've got these laid out. These are all CMYK colors. Um, and they're all kind of general in the same blue to kind of replicate what you got going on. So what I'll do is I'll make a duplicate of this and then lock it down with Control 2. And now I'm going to go to select same fill color and I'm going to create a new swatch. And now I'm going to go and select this same fill color and I'm going to set it to that same there. And then up here in our color palette, if you go to show options, you'll get this uh, draggable item. So I'm going to just kind of eyeball it to see if I can't get it in the same range. Since you're dealing with uh, Pantone colors, you will have a little bit more leeway here because CMYK will never match up perfectly to a uh, Pantone. So just kind of eyeball it until it looks close. And then we'll go through and just repeat the same process. It's not going to be perfect, but it'll be about where you want it. Fill color. And that'll get you close. Um, you could take a lot more time and go through and, you know, tweak these values to make sure that yes that is you know where I need to be in you know hue range or the total amount but um, that's about the only way I've found of dealing with this kind of issue I wish you luck because it's going to be tedious <laughs>